Hey guys and welcome to live Russian vocab. Today we will talk about so-called patronymic names or patronyms that are proudly carried by every Russian person in their documents and throughout their life. Using this patronymic name is a sign of politeness, respect and it's done in any official conversation. So what are these patronyms? It's names that are uh, formed using the name of your father. So it means that every Russian person uh, actually carries his father's name uh, throughout their lives and uh, in any official conversation. I made this simple table for you to see the pattern of forming uh, patronyms. We have masculine patronyms and the feminine ones. And depending on whether if it's hard or soft, they will be formed a little bit differently, but still there are patterns. Okay, so masculine hard ones uh, as well as feminine hard ones are the easiest one. Because what we do, we take the name of the father, for example, Ivan, and add Ovich for a man and Ovna for a woman. For example, it can be Ivan Ivanovich and uh, Yekaterina Ivanovna. Okay? Um, let's look at other names. Boris Borisovich or Borisovna, Maxim, Maximovich, or Maximovna. You see, I put the stress marks here. Vladimir, Vladimirovich, and Vladimirovna. Let's look at some odd ones. Pavel. In this case, the letter E will disappear and we will get Pavlovich. Pavlovich and Pavlovna, Pavlovna. And another odd one is Pyotr. Here the letter Yo, Yo became, becomes Ye, here too. And it will be, uh, plus the stress will move here to O. It will be Petrovich. Petrovich and Petrovna, Petrovna. These two are odd. I took them on purpose. So, these endings were hard. It means any consonant. But if father's name ends with Y or the soft sign, we will have another ending for the patronym. It will be Yevich for a man and Yevna for a woman. For example, Andrei. Andrei. What is happening here? The letter Y disappears. Hop! And it will be Andreyevich. Andreyevich. Let's look at the feminine. Andreyevna. The letter Y disappears here. Yeah, in the soft pattern. Uh, Igor. As you guessed, the letter soft sign disappears and it will be Igorevich, Igorevich and Igorevna, Igorevna. Yeah, uh, the disappearing letter I marked like this. So here we can do the same, yeah, Pavlovich, Pavlovna, yeah, this letter disappeared. Let's continue. Nikolai. The letter Y disappears and we will have Nikolaevich. Nikolaevich. And for a woman, Nikolaevna. Nikolaevna. Let's look at the names that end with E and Y. E. Like Yuri. Two letters will disappear here. Yeah, I. I put them in this little square. Yuri Yevich. What will happen? 
um, we exchange this ending with the soft sign in fact that that what will happen so the name yuri will turn into patronym yuri yevich the same with uh, the feminine one yuri yevna so the ending y is exchanged with the soft sign the same with evgeny Evgeny, we remove e, y and put the soft sign here plus our classical ending, soft ending, yevich. Evgeny, yevich, the feminine one, Evgeny, yevna. So if you look at this table closely, you will see this pattern and you will be able to use it with other names that I took here. Try to practice, try to make uh, a masculine and a feminine patronym out of the following names. Mark, Arkady, Viktor, Artem, and Alek. And I will tell you about one more. It's rather an exception but a mind-blowing one <laughs> yeah the name Ilya which is popular in Russia uh, will have very strange patronyms a masculine one will be Ilyich so we add unusual and in each here it's a suffix actually Ilyich and attention Ilyichna but this ch will be pronounced as, as sh ilinishna. So ilich ilinishna. Um, I repeat that this is an exception, but the pattern is this. Let's sum it up. So the hard ones will be easy because what we do is adding ovich. To a father's name for a man and ovna to a father's name for a woman uh, there are some uh, jumping letters and changing of stress yeah and the soft one is a little bit trickier because we always remove one or two letters and add the ending yevich for a masculine one and yevna for a feminine one when two letters are removed we don't forget to add a little soft sign like Yuri turns into Yuri Yevich and Yuri Yevna. So I hope it was helpful. We'll meet each other in live Russian vocab. See you!